Just sit back and fucking relax. Watch the fucking video and see what we're about. Okay, we got dirt. This guy knows everything about fucking music that I think, man. This is Daryl, our fucking bassist. Fucking bad bitch. You wanna play something cool? What, what are you gonna show us, dude? This is the breakdown for motherfucking last memory. Last memory? Yep. Another song we haven't recorded, but it's coming. And he got a chord. He gets a tune in his head, and bam, it's right there in his hands. And he just fucking goes over and over and over and over. Corey, what are you gonna show us, man? This is a song we haven't recorded yet, but it's coming. Seen him yet? Fucking hung over, man. Hell yeah, he's fucking hung over. And then you got Adam, fucking metal to the soul, dude. That's all he wants is fucking just chilling it and getting real hard on that shit. Gonna do the breakdown to Wings of Black. What do you think about your singer? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, man. What makes your singer a part of your band? What do you, mean? What do you think about your singer? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, he's got the fucking Charlie Manson. It's our fucking first take. Let's see what it sounds like. Alright, we're live! <laughs> Badass, he does everything, but then when the lows hit, the death metal growls, and some of it just snaps. He turns into another person, a person that you don't want to fuck with, to be completely honest. <laughs> If 
fucking crazy ass son of a bitch. song Iron Sights mean to you? Uh, it just it encompasses everything that's wrong with the fucking social structure of this country. You think George Bush's kids are going to go out and fight a war? No. They get the low lives like us to go do it and clean up their fucking messes while they sit in their yeah. over office and just, you know, drink tea and eat crumpets and shit. 14 books. Yeah, and I watch a lot of World War II movies and history's kind of like my shit. It's like, these motherfuckers grew up, was taught all this shit, and then they were shipped out to do this badass shit. And if you take any regular motherfucker, like, you take a pussy and you throw him in a fucking battle, he's gonna harden up real quick, or he's gonna fucking die. If you don't, he's gonna harden up. And that's, that's, like, whenever I see someone in type of movie like that, I'm kind of like, would I be that way? You know? And when I was writing the lyrics, I wanted to be like a portrayal of how no matter what fucking civilization or time you're in, there's going to be a war. There's always going to be conflict. And what, what brings people to that? So I was talking about the, the soldiers, you know, crying out to kill, I mean, uh, shouting out to kill, crying out to die. Motherfuckers bleeding now on the beach. Bullets flying over the head. What are they thinking? And then straight to the fucking politics of it. It's like sending me from once to court to humanize. Just fucking all right, all this war happened. It's just paper, man. Just fucking write down fucking war, and then war started. And at the end, you got a piece of paper saying the war is fucking ended. That's all you had to do in the fucking first place. Take the damn politicians, put them together, and fight the fuck out of each other. And if whoever wins, fucking write it down. Because that's all it is. But we're killing fucking millions of fucking people just to get that piece of paper signed. So whenever they, they try to humanize the whole situation, it's taking the evil ones to court. And then fucking, oh, oh, hate crime, hate crime, oh, fucking, uh, fucking world hates that you fucking did genocide and all this shit. They didn't have to fucking do that, they didn't have to get that fucking world. You know what I mean? So, whenever I write about that, it's just, it's just, uh, it's nonsense. And I'm not saying I'm a fucking tree hugger, I'll fight a motherfucker if he wants to fight, but there has to be a valid reason. What it means to me is just... Couldn't tell you, man. You're just gonna have to hear it. What influenced you to be a musician? My dad. And the nine to five kind of fucking sucks. I figured I fucking wanna do that. Love music, love women, feel feeling. It's better than sex, drugs, everything. So it's uh, if I can get all the anger out, man. Everything. What do you think about the band Boiler? Oh, fucking badass, man. The best. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah!